Just like any other turn, you can finish it in so many different ways. You can either... Oh my god! Hi Sparkles, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, by your request, I am going to be trying to teach you guys how to do Alice Cone turns. So this is, I think, my most highly requested video, so I hope you guys find this one kind of useful. I could literally go on for like hours and hours and hours giving you guys lots of tips about these turns, but let's head to the floor and I'll try and break it down. So we're going to be starting out turning. I'm going to be using my dot to dance turn board. I'm going to be wanting to have a nice safe turning surface. Now the reason why I say that I could go on and on about turns for hours and hours is because when I was dancing all the time and like at the peak of my training, turning and Alice Cone turns were probably my best skill. But that being said, they are something that did not come natural to me at all, so I had to literally use every single trick and tip in the book, get all of the education, and make sure that all of my technique was literally on point, or else I wouldn't be able to do it. And the reason for that is because I have a hypermobile spine, so I've dealt with kind of a sway back situation, with loose lower abdominals, I struggled with what we call phantom glutes, which is basically when your gut sticks out, your butt pops out, and you're not really engaging, don't know why I'm jiggling my butt, you're not really engaging your glute muscles, and so what happens when you do that is you end up over engaging your quads, you're not engaging your hamstrings properly, and we all know that while you're dancing you really need to be engaging your hamstrings and working your turnout, and, and of course that applies to turns as well. So for me, I had to learn all of these tips and tricks in order to combat that swaying of my back and really get things under control. So that being said, the most important part of turning is to make sure that you really know your posture, you know your center of gravity, and your alignment is literally perfect. If you have perfect alignment, your turns are going to be so much easier. So for perfect alignment for turning, just quickly from the head to the toe, you want your chin just slightly lifted and floating. You want your ears to be aligned over top of your shoulders, over top of a nice closed rib cage, which is over top of your parallel hips, which should be parallel to the ground. And you want your hips stacked directly on top of your knees, stacked directly on top of your ankles, and then when you push off into a releve, you want to have the weight in between your second and third toe. So the essential shapes in executing an Alice Cone turn are going to be this position in your plie fondue with your leg extended to the corner, and then this position where you're going to be up on a nice high releve with your arms in second and your leg extended to second, both legs turned out and really, really working that turnout. You want to have a really nice long neck. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed and down. You want to keep your hip also down. You don't want your hip up or turned in at all while you're turning. And then of course the last and arguably the most important part of turning is spotting. And a quick breakdown of spotting is you want to pick a spot on the wall at eye level and then you want to leave your eyes there for as long as you possibly can and when you cannot leave your eyes there any longer you want to whip them around right back to the same spot that you were looking at to begin with. Now a little tip is if you're going to be turning to the right, you want to leave your left eye on the spot as long as possible and then whip back around. And if you're going to be turning to the left, you want to try and leave your right eye on the spot as long as possible and then whip back around. If you're brand new to turning, I would suggest working on your spotting exercises before you even start your turns. And if you're brand new to turning, I would also recommend that you learn basic pirouettes before you try and attempt an Elsa Cone turn. So like I said, the front view should be corner with your arms in a nice carried cord bra, out to the second, arms in a nice strong second position. I personally like to keep my palms down and my shoulders pressing down while I turn, and I like to keep my arms just slightly out in front of me in my second position instead of taking them too far back. And if you want to get super technical with the hands, if you look at your fingers, palm side of your hands, you'll realize that your fingers are broken down into three sections and then there's kind of a line in between like where the knuckle would be. So you want to place your thumb in the first section on your middle finger. If you're a girl, you can have pretty ballet fingers like this. If you're a guy, you just want to have them more flat. 
but that's really not the most important thing to turning. That's just kind of a little tip for you guys if you want to know what you're supposed to be doing with your hands. Now from the side view, it should look like this. Again, both legs totally turned out, all of your weight on top of your supporting leg. You want your back straight, neck straight, everything up here nice, elongated and flat. And then you open up to releve second. And from the back, corner, and second. Now, when you prepare for your Alza cone turns, there's many different ways to prepare. You can prepare in second position. You can prepare from a tight fifth position. You can prepare from a nice wide fourth position lunge. Or for the sake of today's tutorial, we're going to be preparing from a fourth position. So in order to execute your Alice Cone turn, you want to step down into a nice wide fourth position turned out. You want your arms to be pressing down into the floor. Make sure that your hips are lifted. Both of your heels are forward. Your weight is evenly dispersed between your two legs. And then from this position, you can either pop up into a pirouette and then start your Alice Cone turn, or you can plie down into your fourth position swivel to the corner and open up to second. So now I'm going to show you guys both ways. So first we're going to start with a double pirouette into an Alice Cone turn, and then second I'm going to show you starting from a fourth position, swiveling to the corner and opening up to second. So this is the double pirouette. So you want to keep your upper body nice and relaxed, but strong and engaged. And pirouette, down. Just like any other turn, you can finish it in so many different ways. You can either, oh my god! Just like every other turn, you can finish it in so many different ways. You could literally end in a turn, you can end in a lunge, you can flourish to the floor, you can go into a leap. There's so many different options. But here's what the turn looks like going directly from a fourth position, swiveling and then opening up to second. Well, that is all I have for this Alice Cone tutorial. I hope that you guys found this useful. Again, make sure to leave your recommendations for other tutorials that you guys would like me to do. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. Bye guys.